everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Leonor and in today's video I'm going to be doing a tag and the tag is the 21 questions makeup edition by Ellie Glines and I'm just really excited to share with you all of my answers to this tag. Before we pass to the answers of the questions, I just want to ask you to subscribe my channel on the red button and also click on the ring bell so you can get all of the notifications when I upload a new video. And if you like this content, don't forget to like the video as well. And of course, that I'm going to leave down there all of my other social media so you can follow me there as well. So as I already told you, this tag, it was Ellie Glynde that started and I saw it on Morgan Sterner uh, YouTube channel. I follow her or I subscribe her channel and I really like her videos. So I decided to do this, this tag because I thought it was really fun and I thought you guys would like to see what I have to tell you about these questions, what is my answer to these questions. So let's start with the first question that is, what's the oldest makeup product in your collection? So, the oldest product that I have in my collection is this foundation that is from Eisenberg and I have it for so long that I don't know how long <laughs> and it's not my color. When I got to the store, the lady that worked there told me that this one would be good for me and I was like, I don't know, I was really like 12 or something, so I, don't, I didn't understand much about makeup. I still have it but uh, I don't use it. Maybe I should uh, throw it away because uh, it's been here uh, a long time ago and I'm not going to use it because probably it's not good anyway. So, And the second question is, what is your most recent makeup purchase? So the most recent purchase that I did is this foundation by Uda Beauty and I did a video uh, reviewing it, so I'm going to leave it up here so you can check it out if you want. Got out like, I don't know, maybe three weeks ago. It's the redoing or it's the new version of our foundation. And if you want to know what I thought about it, uh, go check the video. Third question is, what is the first makeup product you ever used? I really don't remember because it was a long time ago but maybe a labello lipstick um, i have one here not this one one is is newer <laughs> i don't know if you can say this is a makeup product it's a product that i always remember having um, in in my house because i really liked it maybe the first one it was a pink one that it, this one is a, a sherry uh, a smell but the, the first that I bought maybe like the blue one or the pink one. So let's pass to the fourth question that it's what is a makeup trend that you used to love but now you hate? I, I was trying to think about uh, another trend that I really loved and now that I hate but I didn't remember any so not loved but I liked it. It was feather brows but now when I look at the trend and see photos of makeups with the feather brows, I can't say that I hate it, but I, I don't like it. I don't like to see. If you like it, it's okay. It's not really my preference, but makeup is really a place where you can be who you want and wear what you want, so it's not my preference, but I understand. So the fifth is, what is a makeup trend that you used to hate but now you love? It's not really a makeup trend, it's more like a makeup product. I didn't like to use blush, but now I love it and I really like to use and to warm my skin tone and feel like I have life, I don't know. Now I really like to use blush. I don't do a makeup, like a full makeup without using it, so it's a product that I really like to use now, but I didn't like it. I because, maybe because of some pictures that I saw or something. It was a trend that blush was like a slap on our face, so I didn't like that, but like natural blush and blush that gives us life, I really like to use and to see. The sixth is, what is your favorite step in your makeup routine? My favorite step is eyeliner. <laughs> I really like to put eyeliner on my skin because it gives like the, all of the um, 
glow to the skin and uh, healthy glow and everything so I would like to use highlighter but I also like to do my eyes it's like that place where you can be creative and do whatever you want and play with it so I think that's the two that I really like to do more so the seven is what is a makeup product that you can't live without the product that I can't live without the makeup product that I can live without is mascara I use mascara like with everything if I don't uh, do uh, with like my full makeup I always do uh, mascara, I always put my mascara on because I think that when we have mascara we are like different persons, I don't know, I really like to use mascara. The eighth question is, what sparked your love for makeup? I think that what sparked my love for makeup, it was, I started to see more videos about makeup on the internet. When I saw the videos I was like, oh my god, it's so amazing, but the girls or the guys can do with the makeup and uh, all the makeup tips they they shared and i was like oh my god it's it's just amazing and then i got interested to buy makeup products and then i did my makeup course and it was like a snowball and now here we are in front of a camera that i really like to share with you all of this makeup and everything <laughs> so the ninth question is what is the worst makeup look you've ever done so the worst makeup look that I've ever done that I'm thinking I only remember one maybe I have another one so I don't I don't remember right now but I did a makeup uh, video here that I was deciding uh, what uh, I look I was creating just by luck and I didn't like that one because the colors, it wasn't good uh, mixed. It was a red one, a purple one and a yellow. And I didn't like the look that I created. I didn't like the colors mixed in. Next is, what is your favorite makeup look you've ever done? I have a lot of makeup looks that I like, that I did. But I have one that I really like. It's my Libra makeup that I did for the Zodiac signs and it's on my Instagram, so if you want to see the video of me doing the, um, the makeup you can go on my Instagram and on my IGTV, it's there but I really like that one because it has like the colors that I like to use on me, that it's the pinks and it's my sign 11 is What is your favorite drugstore makeup product? So, my favorite drugstore makeup product is this uh, not only this, but the um, Super Stay Matte Ink by Maybelline. I really like these these lipsticks because they are really good. They don't go out of the of the lips, so you can use it uh, like all day, drink, eat, and they are amazing. This one it's the 65 Seductress, and I really like this color because it's like a neutral pink one, and I would like to use this tone on me. So the next is what is your favorite splurge makeup product? I really love this product it was like one of the most expensive ones that I have but I really like it and I use it a lot and it's it's like me in a, in a product so I'm going to show you what it is and it's the new nude uh, the palette by Uda Beauty it's pinks and glitters and shine so it's just my face almost you can see no because today I have green eyes but it's my most used and my favorite product that I spend more money you can do so much makeup looks neutral makeup looks of course with this one, it's my favorite and it's my baby. So the next is, what's your most repurchased makeup product? So the product that I buy and buy again and buy again, it's the MAC Fix Plus. I really like to use this product because you can use it before your makeup, during your makeup, to finalize the makeup. The fourth thing is, what is your earliest makeup memory? I remember when my mom bought me a palette that it was like shadows and blushes and lipsticks, like 
all pink and even the palette it was pink and I really liked to get in there and do my makeup and I remember that people would tell me oh my god you look so beautiful who did your makeup and I was like me I did it and people were like because it was I was like six and for my age I did makeup well what is your favorite place to shop for makeup my favorite place to shop for makeup is Sephora because I really like to go in and see all of the makeup products and the perfumes and everything and see a lot of makeup brands and you can choose. I really like to go to MAC as well but I think that Sephora is the best one. The next is what is your most underrated makeup product you own? I don't know if it's underrated but I don't see a lot of people talking about this product and it's the Catrice mascara, the Iconista. And I really like this mascara, it's like so cheap and it does a really good job. It's like 6 euros and it's just amazing and I really like this one and I really like to try mascaras and see uh, if I found a new one that I like even more. And the 17 is, what is your most overrated makeup product you own? I think it's a good product, but it's not like amazing and everything. And it's the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age. I really like to use it when I'm not using any makeup, like uh, no foundation. I like to use it with a little bit of a powder and my mascara and that's it. But with like full makeup and everything that I don't want my uh, dark areas to show. I don't think that it does a really good job. And the eighth thing is, what is a discontinued makeup product you wish would come back? There's a single shadow that I would like to try that it's from Urban Decay and it's the Space Cowboy but I didn't try it so I don't know if it's good or not but I think it's discontinued it. The next is, where do you go for makeup inspiration? For makeup inspiration, I really like to use my Pinterest account and seek for makeup and so I can get my makeup ideas and my makeup inspiration. What do you hope to see less of in makeup's future? I hope to see less that uh, makeup trend that it's the fluttery mascara. I don't like to see that, I don't know uh, I just don't like it seems like you put uh, some mascara that it's like really old and you didn't have another and you just put it and it's and also that trend where you put your foundation like all over your face and you only see foundation and then you do this to spread the foundation I don't like it so I hope that's over as well <laughs> and the last question is what do you hope to see more of in makeup's future. So this is more for Portugal. I would like to see another makeup brands in here that we don't have like Laura Mercier, Colourpop. There's so much uh, brands that we don't have like Stila, like Charlotte Tilbury as well. We can only buy it uh, in our website. I hope that uh, this year we have more makeup brands in our country. Uh, we have now Tarte as well that we didn't have and Natasha Denona. So the video is done. I really hope you like this one. I really hope you enjoy to hear all of my answers to the questions. And don't forget to leave a comment down there so I can know if you like this video, if you like tag videos and if you like to know a little bit about me. So to finish the video I just want to tell you to subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet and also like the video if you liked it. So I really hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching everything until the end and watching everything that I had to say. And now I hope to see you on my next one. Bye!